Hi guys, it's Andrew here from uh, Tutorial Soup. Um, I'm following on from the last lesson um, where we learned how to create uh, different rectangles and different uh, save different states. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some cool shaded shapes, and I'm also going to show you how to do. Uh, Bezier curves. Um, in the next few tutorials, hopefully, oh, I've already got that open. Don't need that open again. In the next, in the next few tutorials, we're hopefully going to start animating our shapes, so we'll be able to see movement. Um, but for now, I'm just going to cover a few more things before that. Uh, I'm going to open this up in Notepad Plus <clears throat> Plus. Excuse me. Um, so I'm going to get rid of all the stuff from the last lesson. So get rid of this. Keep the canvas and the context variables. So check that. Right now, um, a really cool thing you can do is a little bit. Of, sorry, I had a little bit of gas there. A really cool thing you can do um, when creating shapes, you can give them some cool kind of um, shadows around them. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. First of all, we'll right reference context variable. We'll rec. Oh, my fingers. So the usual. So I'm going to create a rectangle. <clears throat> right. So now I'm going to start off. Now I'm going to start off by selecting the color of the sh shadow. So it's going to be shadow color. And this is an RGB value. So I'm going to have it black. So I'm going to set all. I'm going to set the red, green, and blue values uh, to zero. Next, I'm going to change the shadow blur. Um, I mean, and this is basically um, the thickness of the blur, or the um, how how intense you want the um, blur to be, or the shadow, I should say. So if we create it 10, now if I update this, you will now see that around the edges is a cool shade, uh, shadow, uh, which is 10 pixels, I believe, which is 10 pixels in width. So if I increase this to 20, you can notice a bit more. I'm going to put this right up to 50. And it's a really cool effect because you can give the appearance like there's almost like a light shining behind it or, or a light source um, emitting on it. So, in order to do that, you can just simply change colors, um, make them slightly lighter. So, if I put the red value up to 200, as you can see, it gives it kind of a red glow. Um, <clears throat> I mean, if you were to change that to uh, yellow, um, um, uh, this should hopefully be a yellowy colour. Um, it kind of gives gives it the illusion that there's a there's um, kind of a light source behind it, um, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, you can off also um, you can also offset. Um, the shadow, so shadow off set x um, equals 10 and see that offsets it um, to the side like so and set shadow or shadow offset I should say y Uh, 
Um, oops. So as you can see, you can also offset it as well. So it's just pretty cool as well. So you can give it each of your shapes some cool little effects. Um, right. <clears throat> now, right. Um, I'm just going to quickly uh, show you how to create a circle with a shadow blur. So start off referencing the context. Uh, begin path. Um, it's arc. So 200 across, 300 down. Radius of let's say 70. Um, starting position zero. Ending position math dot p pi times two and volts for anti clockwise and close path and last but least last but not least uh, fill and I'm just gonna there's a circle and because we set the shadow blur before it's got the same effect on that it's got exactly the same effect on the circle as well so I mean you could also I could also change the fill style value of the actually hang on if I put it at the top here um, if I change the fill style text dot fill style equals RGB Oops. Um, so if I make this 170 uh, 170 30 hopefully this will be a nice Yeah, I just forgot to put a capital S in here to change that. There we go. And if I put the, if I get rid of the offset, I mean that looks pretty much like a sun with a glow. So I can also up the shadow blur and that's pretty cool we get rid of the get rid of the rectangle and there you have it you got a sun and that's a pretty cool effect you can um, you can create with the uh, canvas and um, just a circle with a shadow blur um, okay um Okay, I was going to uh, also cover Bezier curves um, because we've uh, kind of dragged this on a little bit. I'm going to save that for the next uh, tutorial. Um, but don't worry because we're going to be creating games pretty soon. Um, don't get disheartened if all this is a little bit slow. But it all comes together at the end and we create some cool little uh, games. So I will see you in the next tutorial.